Podcast. Excellent, John. Man, I welcome to my DMs podcast, Lolly Native, aka Skokosa Seyanga, aka Buddha of the Year, aka ATM Super Sub, aka Street Comment Comment and subscribe on the biggest show on the internet, my DM podcast, live from John. Okay. Okay. Talking about <laughs> the sure. biggest show on the internet, baby. Hashtag we watch the internet, no doubt, brother, brother, brother. Dara, what's up? You I'm good? chilling, my brother. Stop it behind the camera. Come CICB's on, CBS 808 guy. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just have a conca. Summer coast doing the ones and twos on the mic, on the sound. What's up, Schooly? You good? We go to my dog. No more yes, the way. Yes, we got sir. the Nyanga Prince up in the building today. Uh, brother Lolly Native, what's up, my nigga? I'm nice, I'm good, yo. My name is Lolly Native, aka Koko Zazenyanga, aka the Street Prophet, aka Buddha of the Year. Talk you already shit. know what it is. Talk MT Records, what it is. Hey. aka ATM Super Sub. Come on now. <laughs> so, my man, I'm with you. <laughs> my nigga. Yeah, right? At any moment, if you want to talk to the fans, talk straight to the it's a 360 camera. Just look at the, the, hey. the camera there. Moduin Basali. Sure. Thank uh, you all for having me, man. Yeah, man. Uh, first of all, my nigga, thank <coughs> you for being patient. We were so behind schedule. But, you know, you came through, my nigga. You were patient with us, and we appreciate that, my nigga. Yeah, man. I yeah. always make sure I'm early. I need to teach young niggas <laughs> to make sure they <laughs> take this shit seriously. And it's, it's a job, dog. It's a profession, I mean. right? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We always need to be. Nah, MT, MT, MT Records clearly has good etiquette. Yeah. <laughs> take this seriously. Man. On that note, Lolly. Let's take it back, my nigga. How do you get signed to MT? Like, where do you meet MT? How does that even happen, dog? All right. So when I came to Jersey, for me, I didn't know any code. Okay. I went, in fact, what? when I came to Gauteng, Gauteng okay, cool. I went straight to Pretoria. You landed in Pretoria in Gauteng? I landed in Pretoria. Gotcha. Started performing everywhere I can. Gotcha. Were you already <coughs> killing it back in Cape Town, or what was the situation in Cape Not Town? really. Okay, cool. Not really. Right. I knew I wanted to do this, but right. I also kind of knew that it's not going to happen there. Right. You know, also yeah. because of the sound that I wanted to produce gotcha. at, the at the time. Yeah, well. This is this is Omar when you move into Pretoria. This is what year is this? Yo, 2012, 2013. Okay, 2012, 2013. Nigga, you've been at it. Fuck. Yeah, nigga. Listen to the music. Right? Listen to the music. It yeah. does say 10 years. 10 years in the game, no play. Yeah, man. Nigga got 10 seasons with a stamp on no, it. Come on now. So when I pulled up, I'm like, yo, what's first? Entered all the competitions I can. Got you. You know? Got you. Uh, I was fresh out of school even. Yes. Yeah, boy, so it was time for me. Yes. Got myself a job. Yes. Entered all the competitions I can. Yes. Won all of them. Okay. You know, uh, Hansa. I remember the Hansa competition. The Hansa competition. We were open for Asha Raymond. Okay. Won that. Yeah. Uh, it was a specific one in 2018. The rap for me. Oh, that uh, uh, we'll come in there. Okay, cool. Right. 2012. Open for Asha. Hey, man. 2013. King of. 2012, you opened for Asha. Yes, sir. My goodness. 2013. Uh, King of Street Rap, Slack Haze. Okay. 2014. King of Street Rap, Slack Haze. Yo, have those credentials, guys. Like, are 20, you listening, dog? 2014. Only. Sprite, Uncontainable Winner. Okay. Yeah, 2015. Uh, I'm chilling in Brooklyn with Lil Wayne's manager. Lil Wayne Because that's the price of the Sprite, Uncontainable. Oh, you get to chill with Lil Wayne Camp. Nah. Get a... Get mentorship from Lil Wayne's manager. Ah, uh, is this Cortez Bryant at the time? Yeah. Aye, cool. Cortez Bryant Aye. in Brooklyn, Aye. New York. Aye. Yeah, 2016, nominated for Saha, King of Cape Town. Shit. Yeah. From Aye. Joburg, baby. Killing it in, in Gauté, getting yeah. nominated back home. How was that feeling, being nominated back home, dog? Well, it, was, it was great, man. Yeah. It was, for me, it was always coming. Got you. That's what I always always did. Gotcha. And then <clears throat> in 2017, yeah. uh, MT had a competition mm -hmm. called King of Street Rap, King of Street Rap, which ended in 2018. Ah, yeah. So sorry, the MT competition was 
Rap for me. Rap for me. The the, the 2018 one that you that you killed as well. Yeah. Right. No, that's the one. That's the one. Started a year Started before. before and then ended in 2018. Got yeah. You. Got you. So I entered that. Hey, by the time I won't lie to you, man. I was tired of entering competitions. Into, into competitions, right? Cause, cause you didn't done that circuit. You didn't battle everybody. You, <coughs> like it was just yeah, a cycle now. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's you, just the you. same. Like right now, someone says to me, "Yo, rap." I'm not excited at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> like my nigga, I've been battling and rap. I've been, I've been on stage, you. man. You know, been battling. Got so, so I feel like it wasn't a short way, man. It wasn't a shortcut for me. Okay. I did everything I had to do. Got you. And sometimes you feel like the closer you get, it changes the goalpost, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, in 2018, I won uh, Rap For Me, Rap for me by Khao TV and MT The Hustler. Yes, sir. And that's how I got to meet oh. MT. So, I mean, what, how were the vibes, the initial vibe? Was it backstage? Was it just in the changing room? Like, you know, or was it him just as a judge seeing you on stage? Like, I, I'm a sign of this nigga. How did that, that no, those there, were, there were 5,000 other niggas. Shit. So it was a competition. Shit. Uh, and people needed to be eliminated until there was one. Dog, 5,000 uh, is a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the, the last one was. The last one was, was performed for a crowd. Gotcha. Now that's the one I'm not going to lose. <laughs> Everything else was a challenge. Was a challenge. But the last one the was letting the ch the, the gotcha. crowd judge. Gotcha. It's, over, it's over, you know. So I remember it was a competition ran like a good six months. Go, oh, that's a long time. Shit. It's a long time. And I remember I, I had never spoken to MT the Asla. The whole, the whole time whole six throughout the whole competition I just push up. And this is like MT at the height. Roll up just was fucking the streets up like he was hot, dog. It still is. Still is. Still is. Mm, Come mm, on, man. Let me check myself. Check yourself, man. Let me check man. myself. Cho Excuse me, hustler. Let me check myself. <laughs> Talking about the number one African trap. Talking on, about. Talk so for me, I was like, I'm not going to have a convo with him unless I win. Gotcha. Everyone was smoking weed with him after the competition. I'm like, man, fuck that shit. I'm, go I'm going home. I, I had a job at the gotcha. time, you know, after. After the audition or after the challenge, you gotta I gotta go to my job. I gotta, I gotta you, know, and and you know what I mean? So, and 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 somehow I knew I had more time with him. Mm. All the other niggas had this time. Mm. I, I had a lifetime with my nigga. You know what I mean? So after the competition, after winning, it, pulls up backstage. He's like, yo, what's up? Like, yo, what's up? No, I keep it cool as well. He doesn't say much, I don't say much. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay, okay. So, okay well, we'll come to that chat. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we'll finish the story. Got yeah, what's up? Yeah. What's Hip -hop up? Story, baby. I love the other, other, other know. It's the guy, you know. Let's meet next week. Like, I like, right, cool. You know? Gotcha. So, when, when you, where you guys meeting up? Like, this week, bar? Like, where? Oh, yeah, he gave me a call. Okay. The following week. I forgot now about the competition because I'm back at the grind. Man. <laughs> I'm back at the grind. My phone. Just kill stage rapping this shit, nigga. I gotta go. Yeah, I was a waiter, man. What was he My phone is ringing. I gotta get my tips and shit. Like, I'm you like, know, you know, get a Shout call. Shout out to all my waiters, man. There's a, there's a boy of mine back in the day called Jizzle right now. Uh, he was also a rapper. I was doing some rap shit with him, you know, back in Bloom, and he was also a waiter. So I appreciate waiters, and I know that hustle's real, bro. We're trying to yeah, and please out. tip waiters, tip man. Tip waiters, man. For I real. don't know who, who taught you guys not to not tip because yeah. everybody doing the job you don't like is doing it to get where they're supposed to be. Got you. you know, that's what it did for me. Got you. <clears throat> I get a call the following week on a Friday. Competition was the follow the week before on Wednesday. I'm like, yo, like, sure, it's empty. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yo, hey, let's meet a mall of Africa at two. I'm at work. I'm like, I got a knock off. I'm, I'm not feeling well. <laughs> Same time. <laughs> you ain't even trying to have that yeah. chat, like, yo. It's that call. When you you know that call, that call. You know what call. I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then I would meet up at Mall of Africa. In fact, meet up and call him there. Yo, I'm here. It's like, yeah, I'm at Adidas. Gotcha. It's like, get at Adidas. It's like, take what 
whatever you want. See, first day, baby, first day. Just you know, nigga, grab shit, nigga, sneakers and kicks, nigga. Let me be fresh, nigga. It's 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 it's, it's the it's, it's the, the game. So I was like, I don't want anything. <laughs> Smart nigga. No, but that's the thing. That that's the thing that I was Malaman. Yeah, but, but for, you don't come, you for don't me, come rather buy me bread at the bread time, man. And <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna sell this thing <laughs> after I buy at the time, you know. So shit, yeah. I didn't want it. It was like, ah, okay, you know, go chop it up, get to meet each other. <coughs> cool, bro, man. You know, and from there, man, became brothers. You know what I mean? Ever since, ever since you know, uh, till he started his own label. Gotcha. Oh, so when you met him, was that ambitious? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. So, so you were still riding with him at the time, and then he started becoming. Yeah. yeah. And now it's God's time, man. Yeah. yeah. No. Men like Glory, with all happening, were you already a fan of the hustler? Big time. How how did you control the vibes? Like the car, the call when the call came in, you know all the vibes that the mall. Have I controlled it at the competition. Oh, cause yeah, remember it was like niggas so was from there. I was, to be fresh. I was, was like, I, I was nice. Remember, I don't smoke weed, yeah. so oh, I don't have an approach. You. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so everyone was approach was like, yo, they don't pay me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. So everyone's approach is that. For me, I don't yeah. smoke weed. How am I gonna, Got you. you know, Got make you. it easy? So, you. I, I, and also, you know, you gotta respect people's spaces, man. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people don't respect people's spaces. They don't know how to read the room, you. you know, cause, cause, that's 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 how it was. So by then, it was it was already cool, man, right. you know. And as time went, it got easy. Personalities are different, but got to click as it let's, is. Let's backtrack a bit because you said some really important stuff before you as you were telling that journey to get to MT Records. You said, you know, the mentorship of Cortez Bright, the low young money camp. How was that dog like? Because that's that's big. I mean yeah. what, what what were the conversations? What game did they put you on? Maybe connect? Like what was what was the energy? What was the vibe on the chats? Do you do you know what's funny? Yeah. I didn't get to meet Lil Wayne. I spent time with his manager. Yeah. And when I met MT, I spent time with uh, Rest in Peace label. Gotcha. You know, who who, who put me on in the game. Not really managing, was PA, but was a manager at ATM. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. He was doing okay. Yeah, boy. So his story, their story, and Cortez and Lil Wayne's story, Exactly the same, bro. You know what I mean? How long did you get to chill with this group, though? I was there for like a week or two. 